Hello and welcome to the Abundology podcast for the week of August 25th, 2019. My name is Renee Spears and every week I research all the things in the world that impact our energy, including astrology, numerology, Ayurveda, downloads from the universe, um, and pretty much everything I can get my hands on um, that influence our energy for the week. I take all of this information and break it down in into plain English so we can all understand it to prepare us for the week ahead so we can use the energies in the best way possible. And this week we have the closest new new moon super moon of the year. So we're smack dab in the middle of three straight new moon super moons. And this is different than a full moon super moon, which are those big full moons that we see in the sky. This is a new moon super moon. So we've had three new moons. Um, we're in the second one. The first one was August 1st. We're in the second one, it'll be August 30th. And then the third one is September 28th. And they're all super moons because of their closeness to the earth. Um, so the new moon on August 30th, which is this Friday, is the closest of them all. Um, but we won't be able to see it because it's just a sliver of a new moon. So, And this new moon, the one on Friday, is the second new moon in a single calendar month. And it's a pretty rare thing. And so this is called a black moon when there's two new moons in a single calendar month. So a new moon represents the end of one cycle and the beginning of a new 28 day cycle. So the, the August 2019 new moon that we're having here is the best moon phase that we've had in a long, long time for starting something new or re-energizing something. This is an excellent time for making a fresh start, turning over a new leaf or starting a new project. We'll have um, some really big bursts of energy and you'll want to move forward. It's a wonderful time to break bad habits and replace them with good habits. Also replacing some outdated beliefs with new beliefs and cleaning stuff out, organizing your closet, getting organized. Um, and it's especially good time for romance too. It's one of those times where you could actually find your soulmate or reinvigorate a marriage. The stars are literally aligned for you to get what you want in the romance department right now. So if you want a clean break, now is the time to get it. If you want a new partner, now is the time to find one. If you want a fun fling, and who the heck doesn't want one of those, um, now is the time to find it. So just a reminder to be open-minded because sometimes what's best for us um, doesn't look like what we thought it would in our mind, especially in the romance department, especially sometimes with women, that we have this idea of what a relationship should look like. And this is the time where you might get a meeting the soulmate and it might not look exactly how you had planned for it to look. But so just be aware that this might be a week where you meet some people and good time to get out there. Um, it's also, this new moon is significant because nearly half of the solar system has aligned its power behind it. So we have a brand new start with um, half of the planets behind that pushing us forward. So it's a big, the, the first part of the week is a really good chance to turn our intention inward and balance ourselves before we move into September to get really grounded and clear. And yeah, we might have a few more weeks of, of summer here, you know, on the calendar. But as you can see, the, the the temperatures are changing. School is starting this next week here in Portland. Um, there's a sh definitely a shift in the energy. So the first few days of the week would be a really good chance to recenter, turn over a few page, new fresh page, do some meditation. Um, and then this wonderful new moon in Virgo comes along on Friday and it's just got all sorts of blessings with it. And these blessings then will follow through to the new month of September. So not only will the new moon be wonderful, but it will set up this pattern for the next 28 days for, the, for us to get a metric shit ton of stuff done in positive ways in the next 28 days. So it sets up the new cycle a whole bunch of positive change and lots of exciting possibilities. But with all of this energy, with a new moon moving forward and all of the planets behind it, it's a lot of energy. 
It's a lot going on out there. So if you are tend, one of those people that um, kind of lean towards anxiety or you get stressed out when there's too much to do, you might feel that this week. So just to be aware, if you're like one day when you're like feeling anxiety and I don't know why, it could be the energy of all these planets moving you forward. So there's different ways for different things um, to balance your anxiety. This particular anxiety, the best thing that you could do for it is to do something, to clean, to organize, to work out, to write a new business plan. Um, to clean out closets, just do something, some sort of action that moves the anxiety and moves that energy out. Um, so breaking out of your comfort zone. This is this time where we're going to have some big goals. These big goals that we've kind of cleared our life path from stuff that was holding us back for before. It's clear. We got some new energy moving in. We got planets behind it. So now is really the time to go for it. Um, big stuff. No longer waiting for this part of my life to get here. This is the part of your life you've waited for to get here. So now we want to take advantage of that great energy. So breaking out of your comfort zone and going for the big goals. Um, it could be, like we said, it could be emotional, but don't keep the emotions bottled up this week. This is a time to really trust your instincts and trust your gut and the things that you know are right. If that you In your life, if you've made one of those people, I don't know if this is right or this is right, this is the week that you could practice on really following your gut and your instincts. Um, Energy-wise, we're still in that Vata energy that we talked about last week from the Ayurvedic medicine. Um, once again, Vata translates as wind. So this sort of energy, if we take care of it now at the start of the season, um, it will really help us build up some immunity later on when we get into some, to some colder times. And as a refresher, how do you do that? You get extra sleep, sleep in, you eat lots of juicy fruit. If we think about the wind, the wind is like drying us out. So we're trying to prevent us from getting dried out. Um, you can get, and like my favorite thing, get a massage. But one thing I forgot to, to mention last week that will really help with this is before you go to bed, if you, and it will help with your sleep so you get some deep replenishing sleep and also incorporate the oils, is just to rub some oil on your feet. Give yourself a little foot massage and rub that oil in before you go to bed and that will really help with the changing of the energy is in your body for, for this week and the next little bit as we're going through this transition from summer into fall. So one big thing that is really important that's happening on Saturday, and the reason this is so important is because 1.7 billion people celebrate that. And anytime there's a large percentage, what would that be? Almost um, a third of the people on our planet will be celebrating this. And it is the start of the, the first month of Islamic New Year. And it's called, and I apologize if I don't get this correct, the pronunciation correct, but Mu, Nu, Mu Haram. Mu Haram, it holds great importance in Islam. It's one of the four sacred months in the Islamic calendar. And Saturday is the new year for that calendar to start. And so Mu Haram actually literally translates into forbidden. So similar to other sacred months, um, in the Islamic new in the Islamic calendar, it's forbidden in this month to wage any war or indulge any kind of violence of any kind in this month. And just like we have New Year's and we celebrate, you know, with making resolutions or changes into our life, it's kind of a good time to start that. This is another good, powerful time for you to work on yourself, set some small goals to be a better person. And these goals can be either spiritual or social. Um, it's also a really great time and a reminder to do some good deeds for other people. So in the start of this energy, if you can put some good karma, we got the new moon energy, we have the Islamic new year, the new calendar starting. Anytime you have new energy that's starting, 
If you can do some good deeds and put out some good karma into the universe at that time, it will be coming back to you through the whole cycle of that. So a wonderful time to pay it forward right now. Um, helping people any possible, possible way that you can, doing some favors, helping out other people that you don't know, being very kind, kind, and honestly, our planet really needs this right now in more ways than one. So one, the good karma comes back to you, but basically, we all fucking need it. We are, this is really a time in our development where we should be kind to one another. So it's an important time. So just to recap, at the beginning of the week, the days are leading up to the new moon, and those would be really great days to spend some time turning inward and, and getting it together, focusing, um, clearing up any last issues that you may have. Get a plan. Basically, what is your plan when the new moon happens on Friday? What are you going to move forward with? Because this is the time. This is the time in life to really make some huge progress moving forward. Start a new business, um, start a new exercise plan, start a new eating plan, uh, starting a new relationship for some of us, um, starting anything new that you would get a whole bunch of energy behind it that launches it out um, into the universe. This is the time. And then Friday, we have that new moon, as we know, and that's when we're going to take that plan of action that we spend the first part of the week developing, which you probably have already because we've had so much time thinking about preparing for this new time. So Friday is when that time um, comes to just move forward, get shit out the door, get it done. And then definitely time to stop playing small in your life, time to to listen to your intuition, to make big changes, to make decisions, like get on it, get going. Now is the time. Um, also balancing that Vata energy, like we said, perhaps doing a foot massage on yourself before you go to bed. Or, or since it's romance week, we could give, give that foot massage to somebody else or have them do it on us too with that oil to help balance our energy. And then finally, Saturday is the start of the new Islamic New Year and the month of Muharram. And we're, once again, it's a great opportunity to start some new resolutions, some new goals, some new objectives out there and to really do an act of kindness, a kindness out in the world. We, we as you know, we all need it right now. Our world definitely needs some kindness about this time. So that pretty much wraps up the week this week. A great week, I think. A lot of things are going to happen. Just a reminder, if you do feel anxious or you do feel stressed out, the way to deal with it this week is to take action. Exercise, clean, organize, start something new. Just take action, which will help really alleviate some of that anxiety and stress. So... All right. Well, once again, thank you for listening. Um, just a reminder that the easiest way to listen each week is to just follow my podcast and then it will pop up on your phone and then you don't have to search for it or find it anywhere. It'll just be there. You can listen to it whenever you want to. And then one final reminder that I infuse all of these podcasts for positive energy. It is my way of sending my positive vibe and my positive energy out into the universe. And so just by the act of listening, you get a little positive energy boost. And I think I'm going to do a podcast about explaining how I do that so other people can do that later on too. That will be an upcoming podcast that I do. So have a wonderful week and I will talk to you next time.